Well, my friends, we've made it to Jim Top, and more importantly, we've made it to the Matt Sura booth for a machine that's never been seen before. I got Dom on camera. It's something he's wanted for 10 years now, 10 years in the making. It's one of those things that could change the game in your machine shop, has turning inside. It actually makes me a little bit dizzy and a little bit excited, but it might be the excited that makes me dizzy. Anyway, Dom, we got a brand new machine to talk about here. Let's get into it. Let's get it right. Okay, so thank you. Welcome to the stand and welcome to Jim. Thank you. So as you can see behind us, we're turning. We're turning on an MX 520T, which is obviously the, you know the, the machine that we've had out in the market now for 15 years and five years into its life. I was pushing Mr. Matsura and Yuto for a turning one. Here we have an MX 520 with turning function, but only not only turning pallets, pallet changes and tools. Right, so. For all those customers that we have out there on an MX520 today that turn on one machine and then mill on the Matsura, we can now do it on one machine and unmanned, right? Yeah, I usually see it on two different machines as you just mentioned and even if I see it maybe happening on the same machine which is somewhat unique in itself, I almost never see pallets to go along with it. Well that's the difference, right? So as you know Matsura, we are pallets and tools, MX, MAM, blah blah blah, H+. Plus. But to have now a turn-in function on the MX platform of a 520 size capacity, right? That's a big machine. That's, you, know, yeah. you can see the part here. It's a big part, right? So, you know, there's lots of parts. You can do small parts. We can do big parts. That's why when we were considering which machine to do it on, the MX-521, hands down. I'm going to ask this question, and it's almost a rhetorical question, but whenever we speak to the audience, whenever I speak to the audience, I don't like to assume that everyone knows the same amount I know, and I for sure don't know everything. But when we see this thing spinning, we also want to make sure that everyone understands that we are still milling as oh, well. 100%. So this is a mill turn. Okay, so everything that a Matsura has always done, we can still do with the added benefit of turning. So. You know, if you look at a lot of the components, especially in the EV sector, they are prismatic, complex, milled components with a very, very high accurate turned feature or features within that part. Now, that makes it difficult on a normal multitasking machine to automate, especially if you're doing variety. This is where we win, right? If you're making the same component every day, it's easy to put a cobot, it's easy to put a robot, it's easy to put a gantry. But what about if I want to make one of them, one of them, one of them? It's now completely different. So we move the pallet with the work holding of all those different variety of components and with a big tool magazine to make the part in one hit. That's where we score and we now have added turning to that same milling solution. High mix, low volume, something you guys are champions, kings, dominant, whatever you want to say about that world. In your side of the world, in the UK, obviously my accent's a little funny compared to the Queen's accent as well. Do you also see where oftentimes people don't quite understand how when I say automation, they think I need to make a million parts and don't realize I can automate with high mix jobs. If I'm a job shop, I can't automate. I got to do everything one at a time. Do you guys have that same issue like oh, we have in the US? hundred percent. So where you have low numbers, high variety with repeat batches on a weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, bi-monthly basis, that is the perfect scenario for this style of machine. Why? Because we can make one or we can make four. If we go to our, obviously our MAM series, you've got 32 pallets. So the whole thing is about utilizing the pallet to give you flexibility, capability, variety. Lose the operator from changeover. When you start taking tools out of a, tea, of a machine, when you start taking work holding off a machine, dead time. You cannot sell that time. If you leave the machine set to repeat that batch, what's your setup time? Zero. That's your score. That's your ROI. And on man running, right? So if you can do that unattended with a with a zero changeover, the OEE of that spindle is 90-95%. And if you can get it running 24-7, that's a lot of money it's making, right? 
It's almost like you've done this before, Don. Once or twice. Once or right? twice. Once or twice. But you've now led me into another question, and I wanted to keep this video under about five <laughs> minutes, but I don't think I can do that while I'm talking with you. So it brings me to my next point, which is exactly what you just said. When we think about investing in our shop, investing in ourselves, investing in our future, some people go, oh man, that upfront cost, I'm not sure if I can do that, but price per part. Price per part of a precision job with less scrap, less tooling, making sure it's taken care of, more operations on a single machine instead of multiple machines, losing thing, uh, pieces from a setup yeah, itself yeah, 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 yeah. and having scrap. All of that at the end of the day is every piece of value in that immediate cost that you might see on that front line versus the back line. I'm gonna give you one line. Oh, please do. Parts in the bin at the end of the shift. That's right. That you can sell, done. That's what we give you. That's what Matsura's philosophy is about, right? Is that drumbeat of parts with very, very little setup time, repeat batches, like I said, weekly, bi-weekly. That variety mix is where we win. That's what we really sell, not volume. Volume's easy, right? You can buy a single machine with a robot. It's when you have to make five, two, three, 10, 100. That's where the job shop of the world loses money. And that's the bit we give you back. That's what we give to the market. Yeah, Dom, I think that's pretty much where we close this out, is understanding how job shops who are constantly trying to make as much profitability as they can on jobs that are one-off, two-off, three-off, being able to be efficient at the same time and not having to stress every single day about second, third, fourth operations with scrap parts. That's where this beautiful blue machine comes into play. That's where you come into play. And that's where we have this conversation day in and day out because we want you to win. This isn't just for us. Dom I might work with the Matt Sur machines. I might be on camera talking about this product, but it's ultimately because we want you to succeed. We want manufacturing to succeed. When manufacturing succeeds, communities succeed, households succeed, countries succeed, and we need more of that across the world. Oh, 100%. You know, and we're turning on a Matt Sur. We are turning on a mat. Sir, thank you all for watching. Invest more time in research like this. Invest more time in talking with Dom. Invest more time in Matt, sir. I am absolutely sure they can help you. Thank you.